Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for February 25th, 2021. Well, my goodness, yesterday, um, Mr. Powell, old Uncle Powell, went to the Senate Banking Committee and testified that they are, once again, he reiterated that they were going to continue the low interest rate policies and that they were going to keep their FET pedal to the metal when it comes to uh, Fed operations pumping money out into the market and they're going to continue that operation and that really spurred a tremendous rally yesterday. Um, as a matter of fact, the Dow kind of looked like a short squeeze rally as it just pushed and pushed and pushed. It was a relentless drive to the upside yesterday in the Dow. So when we take a look at the technicals of the Dow, you can see we have held beautifully on this price support. Bulls came in right where they should have, breaking through new record highs. Wahoo! New highs in the Dow as we continue to extend this market on a, a massive wave of printing and um, dovish Fed actions. So kind of keep an eye on that. Um, may have got a little bit carried away yesterday in that possibility that a pullback could occur at any time when we move that that much that fast. You want to watch carefully for that. Hopefully you took some profits yesterday. Let's take a look at our moving averages. Now our moving averages, whoops, there we go, are very, very bullish. We continue to run in this bullish trend. No harm, no foul here. Diamonds um, looking very, very strong. Albeit there are some stocks in the Diamonds Index that looks look tremendously extended. So you want to kind of take that into account. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now the SPY um, had a really nice rally yesterday and we recovered some of those problems that we were talking about yesterday. First off, um, let's take a look at the trend. If we take a look at the trend and the way I've drawn this trend, you can see we kind of held right there at that trend and those we lost it for a little bit and came right back. And you can see the bulls um, responded um, nicely to this price support. Now we rallied very, very strongly yesterday and we did breach that little downturn that we talked about yesterday, breached right through there as if it wasn't even there. However, we still are challenged by some overhead resistance in the chart. Didn't quite break out. We did bust this little resistance level right here, um, but we didn't quite break out. And now this morning we're showing a little bit of mix in the futures. So keep an eye on that resistance up here. Will the bulls be able to push through? That'll be um, something we'll wanna watch pretty carefully. Um, I suspect um, with such a dovish Fed and with the house set to pass um, the 1.9 trillion um, stimulus package on Friday that will be sent off to the Senate, that um, uh, it's gonna be pretty difficult for bears to get anything done here when we're just throwing money at the market. So kind of keep an eye on um, that and that resistance level, but uh, it's gonna be tough for the bears. Let's take a look at the Qs, QQQ. QQQ, now this is our problem child right now. Um, as you can see, if we draw this trend line, and I don't think you can really draw the trend line that really shows that we held on to support here. We, we have really suffered here in the NASDAQ. So if we look at that trend, we've broken that trend, and notice that although we rallied pretty substantially yesterday, we didn't recover much of anything. Um, we still have resistance levels in this chart um, substantial resistance levels that we need to recover and you can see that there's quite a little bit of work that has to be done here in the NASDAQ and right now we have futures suggesting the NASDAQ could dip a little bit lower so what we want to watch here carefully today in that possibility if the NASDAQ could swing to the downside that it could actually drag the other indexes down a little bit so watch that carefully Definitely not um, a bullish picture here in the NASDAQ. Although we had two days of great rally, certainly some concern here and something that we're gonna wanna 
watch pretty darn closely here if it starts to pull lower. Remember, um, NASDAQ 100, 100 stock sector, if it's going to be moving lower, it's going to be really tough for a sector like the Dow to maintain that upward momentum if the NASDAQ starts to slip. So watch that closely. And if we look at IWM, now IWM continued to enjoy a nice upside move yesterday and really pushed by um, energy prices. Kind of amazing that we came out with a surprise build in supplies and that just caused the bulls to stand on the gas harder to push oil um, prices higher. Uh, kind of a remarkable market right now. Um, nothing seems to nothing seems to affect um, this frenzy to buy. And that does give me a little concern here in the market. Just a stumble and we could have some ugly results from this. But stay with the trend as long as the trend continues to move. Notice that we had that little downtrend in here with those um, lower highs and we did breach that, or came really close at least, breaching that yesterday, popping on through. And we're trying to follow through a little bit this morning, um, like the Dow is, trying to follow through a little bit this morning. Let's watch that pretty closely. Bulls in control of the diamonds and IWM. Still a little tiny concern in the SPY and the QQQ. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX had a nice little pullback yesterday, but as we set new record highs in the Dow, wouldn't it make sense to you that the VIX, if, if we're really this bullish in the market, wouldn't it make sense to you that the VIX would break some supports? Well, it didn't do that. Um, it pulled back, but certainly didn't break supports this morning. And with the mix coming in today and a big round of data coming in today, um, it'll be interesting to watch and see how uh, the VIX deals with this. You would think we would be sinking and we would be breaking down new record highs in the Dow with just a rabid uh, bullish market. And it's remarkable that we're still holding a 21 VIX. So be really careful. This still has that potential that we could shift pretty quickly um, in that chart. So just what it means is we really have to stay on our toes as traders. Stay with the trend, but stay on our toes and don't get complacent. If we get complacent, if we think this market will never go down again, we'll get trapped. So remember, no complacency. Be careful what you're chasing into. Overextended stocks and um, uh, those uh, those things that are just racing to the upside, uh, be really, really careful because when they do slip, they can slip really hard and really fast. So make sure you aren't just chasing. You're not becoming complacent and make sure you stay very, very focused to price action. Let's take a look at T2122. This is the four week new high, new low ratio. And once again, we just pushed right back up here. We're back up here in that rarefied air um, as if there is absolutely nothing to be concerned about. And maybe there's not, but as we continue to stretch and extend this market, we want to recognize the fact that we are very, very pushed out of shape here overall. So what that means is, is when we're racing up like this, make sure and take some profits and make sure you're not chasing those extended trades. Make sure you're buying stocks at or near price support levels and be careful not to over trade. Be careful not to over trade as we continue to try and press and extend um, the market higher. Let's take a look at a T2101, now T2101, the absolute market breadth, still provides a little bit of concern here with that breadth um, continuing to drop away um, in this trend as we continue to rally. So yeah, be careful, just be careful. It's, it's something to watch. Then let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar, we've got a lot to deal with today. First off, we're going to be looking at uh, before the market opens, we're going to get durable goods orders, we're going to get the GDP, and we're going to get jobless claims. All three of these have the potential to move the market, so we'll want to pay close attention to those as they come out here before the market opens. Anything is possible before the market opens. Right now, we have futures that are mixed. Um, Dow futures are dead flat. 
um, um, ES features are a little bit lower. And um, it is going to be an interesting morning with all of this data after such a celebration yesterday. So watch that closely. Then we have pending um, home sales index. We've got natural gas. And we've got um, a few more, a few more Fed speakers rolling out. Um, throughout the day and last but not least we have the fed balance sheet but again i don't think anybody cares about the fed balance sheet as long as they keep pumping money to the market nobody seems to care let's take a look um, we also want to be prepared and think about these market moving potential market moving reports on friday morning as you plan your day forward and we've also got pmi and consumer sentiment not so market moving but these two tomorrow morning might be um, market moving events so watch for that let's take a look at our earnings calendar now our earnings calendar is huge today guys we we have um, 230 plus companies reporting earnings today, a big round of earnings. There's no way I can cover um, even close to all of the notables this morning. So do me a favor, guys, if this is um, if you want to catch that full list of notable reports, make sure you click that link just below the title of the video, and that will take you back to the morning blog where you can get that full list. Let's cover a few of those right here this morning, though, and take a look. We're going to see uh, reports from AEP this morning. Whoops. AEP, keep an eye on that. Utilities, um, one of those sectors that has been underperforming. Um, we'll want to watch uh, something like that. AMT, American Tower, will be reporting today. We're going to hear from Best Buy, BBY this morning. We're going to hear from Beyond Meat, Beyond Meat this morning. We're going to hear from, um, let's see, First Solar. First solar on that list. Keep an eye on that. We're also going to hear from Plug Power. So some green energies. We're going to hear from some PZZA. PZZA might be interesting to pay attention to. We're going to catch um, a report from HPQ later on this afternoon. Keep an eye on that as that continues to run higher. Um, C's. C's will be reporting today. Um, Shake Shack will be reporting today. So that's just a few um, that will be on the docket for today that we might want to be paying attention to. Uh, VMW is another, whoops, VMW, I have to be able to type, VMW is another. Um, so keep an eye on that. Lots of reports here today, lots of things that could move the market around uh, DPZ and other pizza um, reporting today. So. Um, keep a close eye as we move through the day with lots and lots of earnings reports. Um, it could make for some volatility uh, this morning that would add to all of these um, economic reports that could move us around significantly. So keep a close eye on that. So with that, everyone, how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. Um, but before we do that, if this is the first time you have seen these videos, if you could do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And also if, um, if, um, you feel that the video was worthy if you feel that this helped you in planning your day please do me a favor and click that subscribe or that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment helps us con to continue to grow and i just want to say thank you so much um for doing this thank you so much um you guys are awesome for watching these videos and the the wonderful comments um thank you thank you thank you you guys are great and i also want to do a huge shout out to those folks who are supporting the channel uh, through the buy me a coffee um you guys are awesome thank you so much um 
Um, and by the way, way if you if you want to support the channel that way, there's that link right before below the title of the video that can get you there um, and supporting the channel. And um, that that money will be going to um, improve the channel um, equipment, those kind of things, so I can try and provide um, the best content of it uh, that I possibly can. Um, let's take a look at some stock setting up. And remember, guys, that as I talk about some of these stocks. Um, they're not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. You have to do your own due diligence and make sure that you're following um, a good set of rules for your trading. You should never blindly follow anyone's trade. Now, taking a look at some of these stocks, and it, virtually everywhere you look right now, uh, there are buy signals. There are stocks all over the place uh, pumped up. One of them that um, I hold and so i probably have a bias here is ford now ford um, had a really nice surge yesterday pushing higher now i will say that this is a little bit you can see if we draw that trend up here we're a little bit away from our trend so we we'll want to kind of keep an eye on that um, even though we're pushing um, early that possibility that it could slip back here and drift sideways so watch that closely but forward looking really really good yesterday you could also um, um, take a look at General Motors GM has been hanging in there pretty nicely hasn't made that move or, or pushed up yet but there certainly is that opportunity that this could kind of break this little wedge and push to the upside with all the bullishness that we have in the market um, keep a close eye on that and if I run a trend through here you can see we're getting very very close to contacting that trend to the upside so keep an eye on that um, I keep mentioning um, Disney now Disney had a little bit of a resting day and I think that was a good thing yesterday Disney had that nice um, huge uh, push-up um, the day before yesterday and now we've got this little um, excuse me yesterday and we've got this little um, rest maybe coming in to this chart uh, this morning so watch that closely I think as long as this rest or pulls back consolidates a little bit we're in good shape if we can hold above that level of support in there and just kind of rest and come back here to trend there may be a great opportunity here in Disney to be watching uh, for that chart take a look at some of these cannabis plays um, uh, TLRY uh, perking up here a little bit now notice we kind of broke this trend we broke this trend a little bit but we perked up yesterday trying to rally just a little bit keep an eye on that some of these cannabis stocks in this administration definitely very favorable to cannabis you'll want to keep an eye on that now we do have a little bit of a technical problem here in that we have some price resistance that has been created here so i don't want to say that this is just rush in and buy this there could be still some challenges here on these charts but um, yesterday we saw some of those picking up um, if you take a look at uh, crone it's also in that kind of a pattern uh, cgc in that kind of a pattern so watch those closely but they're trying to pick up here and look pretty decent you might want to take a look at um, some other um, sectors um, kind of an interesting uh, thing that's going on and I've been talking about some of these longer term charts um, take a look at um, GE now GE pushed up and I'll tell you guys that um, I've been starting to share some longer term trades I've been holding GE long term since down in here and yesterday with the big surge in the market and we pressed up here into this resistance zone I decided to take the profits in GE I just felt like with such a big run up I needed to take some profits and um, GE hitting this level but I think there's still upside opportunity in this this needs a consolidation or a rest if this gets a pullback or rest and by the way that rest could be substantial um, we could see if I look at a weekly chart we could see this consolidate along here for another month or so even 
um, just kind of like we did right in here, trying to address this resistance um, area before we push through. It's also possible that we can just push right on through and then um, put in our consolidation. So just keep an eye on GE, looking pretty good overall. Um, I did take profits on that. I just wanted to let everyone know that I had so that you're not um, confused by that. Um, take a look at um, some of these little retail stocks like Kohl's. Um, KSS, that's the weekly. Look at this daily chart. Kohl's continues in this nice little upside trend, a very um, concise price action. We're not getting really crazy here in these moves. Moving up and this is resting out here, I would say you might want to keep an eye on Kohl's for that next opportunity once it engages that trend for that upside move. And there's a lot of these little retailers doing the same, looking very, very strong overall. Take a look at STX. Now STX has been kind of a challenging ch chart because of the wild volatility in that price action. But notice that STX is really set up pretty good. This was a big bullish move um, in that chart. Rested and now we've held. And if you kind of squint a little bit, you guys can probably see a pattern in here that is often called the cup and handle pattern. That pattern is a bullish pattern and if this can really get going and with the bullishness in the market, no reason to believe it can't, um, there's that opportunity to move higher. By the way, this right here was another little cup and handle pattern um, that formed. So keep an eye on that. It could be some bullishness coming there into um, STX. Seriously guys, as you look around the charts, there's going to be, it's gonna be difficult not to find or, or to pick out these good quality charts over those that are just racing and running and because um, there's so many of them. It's gonna be really, really difficult not to find some good plays here in the market. But just make sure that we're looking for those charts that are holding price support levels and doing well in those price support levels. Um, stocks that get overextended like this, tend to pull back pretty solidly so you'll want to watch those closely and be careful not to chase stocks however that are resting and consolidating could be setting in a little bit of a support level wait for those to kind of contact trend here just a little bit and you can get better buys into the market so guys i hope you found this video helpful i want to wish you all a great day thanks so much for being here and we will see you bright and early friday morning i wish you all great profits today take care